she had nine kids. She was loud. She was boisterous. You've met me and my mother. My grandma was top dog. You know, she loud. She was very loud and crazy, and she was just fun. She she enjoyed it. I'd say a dirty joke. She, you know, very loving and caring. She had a lot of kids, a lot of grandkids, and us grandkids were around a lot. You know, family was very very important to her. My mom was a Halloween baby. She, her birthday is uh, 10 27. Uh, back in the day, they had big families, and my grandma only had two kids, so my mom was spoiled. And her name was uh, Little Anna Snatchko. She's from Manaka, PA. She had to walk up a hill to school, and in the, you know how the joke is you walk up the hill both ways, you know, to and from school. And she said she was tired of walking, so she finished seventh grade, and then she she quit. Her mom let her quit, and she went and got a job as like a nurse's aide. I think it was at maybe Rochester Hospital. Her grandparents' house was up on a hill, and below them was the railroad tracks, and then the the river, the Ohio River. And um, they were putting a new highway in, and uh, he was one of the guys that worked on the road in front of her house. So I guess she went down and asked who drove truck number, I'm guessing what number was, 36, 37, it's a big joke and uh, here it was my dad's truck. So that's how she met him, he was working on the road, she was 16 and uh, shortly afterwards they got, they got married. They lived in a lot of places, they actually lived in a box car <laughs> and, uh, and the last place they lived, um, my dad uh, had owned my dad and my brothers had owned Snatch Go Bar out on Old 22, and um, he, all, my dad had racehorses. We had a stable down in back. Well, he was done with the racehorses, so he remodeled the stable and made a very nice apartment in there for my mom and dad. So they actually lived in a horse stable too. <laughs> my mom had uh, seven boys and two girls: Dave, Ronnie, Judy, Larry, Roger, Paul, Betty, John, and Mike. Um, Whatever she, when my brothers would fool around and wrestle and fight, <laughs> whatever she had in her hand was what she went after the boys with. And if she didn't have nothing in her hand, she'd take her shoe off and go beat them with her shoe. Ha <laughs> ha! To get them to stop. Married in 44. My dad passed away in 1999. It was over 50 years, I would suppose. 54 years before he passed away. She loved my dad very much. She went downhill after my dad passed away. We ended up having, um, I'm gonna guess, I'm thinking maybe 28 grandchildren, uh, 30 some great grandchildren. They're always kids around, always. And that's the way they liked it. She, you know, she carried that picture around. We called it the dreaded picture. It was about her and all the grandkids and all the kids and the ball pictures of the boys. She's very proud of them. You know, they were all excellent athletes, every one of them. And um, she didn't care who you were. If you were sitting across the restaurant from you, she'd whip out that picture. <laughs> and she'd show it to them. We'd be like, oh, geez. But uh, yeah, the dreaded picture. In fact, it's still in her purse right now. The woman is getting older, and she lived one hell of a life. And she's got a lot of kids and grandkids to show for it, and she remembers a lot of that. And deep down inside of her, that's inside of her.